Hi friends, while we're busy with our uh, model simulating day 2 and day 3, I thought it would be good also to simulate what happened during the flood. You know, the firmament also plays a role uh, during the flood. God said in Genesis 7 that uh, the fountains of the great deep broke forth and the windows of heaven opened up and flooded the whole earth. So, you know that science says there could never have been a, um, a universal flood because there's not enough water on earth to have covered the whole earth up to Mount Everest with water. The amount of water is just too much. But if you understand the way the Bible explains it, that we got water everywhere, then there's actually too much water, never mind too little water. So once again, we're going to simulate the Noah's flood for you and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hi friends, as you can see, the fountains of the great deep broke open and the water is busy flooding earth until all the mountains are covered. As you can see, the whole earth is covered with water now. So the flood, uh, the water, the rain and the fountains was for 40 days that it broke forth. And then it took almost six months for the water slowly to to go down again. And with the scenario of the Bible, where the firmament is in the midst of the water, for that to happen is not so difficult. As you can see, slowly the water level is dropping, dropping, until the mountains are visible again. And there the whole earth is dry again. And Noah and the people can get out of the ark. Easy, isn't it, my friends? 